Okay, here's a magnetron for a microwave, and uh, it's really not serviceable, and actually can be very dangerous. Now, what's the dangerous part? There's a uh, ceramic here, you can see it right there, and there's some hiding back there on the other side. And what that contains is uh, beryllium, and as it is now, it's not dangerous. But if you were to chip, break, or grind some of this, and it gets airborne, you could get uh, beryllosis, which is a lung disease, and uh, you could get it just from one exposure, and it could show up in a matter of weeks, or it could take, you know, decades to show up. And you'll have uh, shortness of breath, uh, diminished lung capacity, um, your joints will ache, you'll cough and uh, your your quality of life is significantly decreased and there's no cure um, so there's not much you can do with a magnetron there's some big magnets in here um, you can't fix one so really there's not too much uh, to tell you other than that so there's no danger with it as long as you're not chipping breaking or grinding any of the ceramics that uh, contains the um, beryllium oxide. Once it gets airborne, that's when it's uh, dangerous to you. So anyway, hope that helps. Uh, just in case you're curious how a, a magnetron works, you have a uh, vacuum chamber in the middle and you have your electrical inputs here. goes through, it heats up the filament and uh, cause the electrons to bounce around and these magnets um, stop the electrons from just shooting straight they um, start them bouncing around inside and these uh, fan or uh, blades take off the excess heat that the um, is not used for generating uh, the frequency and this is the business end this is what emits the um, waves into the oven portion and that's just a little sensor there anyway i hope that helps and answers some questions if anybody has any other useful information please share thanks